So this is gonna be three more minutes on religion. This is a world. This is a world. This is a world. Here we go. All right, so starting it off, you might not be able to see it anyway. So yeah, so I wanna pick up my conversation from yesterday. So some of you um, responded to the conversation on religion. I had a few people even ask about me, whether I was atheist or not. And I get so caught up in all of these things because I don't really know what those terms mean. I mean, like does atheist mean that like you just don't believe that there's any, any intelligence operating in the universe or, you know, what does it mean? What does it mean? And so, you know, I believe that the universe kind of has its own sense of intelligence, like, you know, the way we are able to procreate and the way that there are cycles of the moon and the sun and, you know, all the cycles of life and all of these things seem to work together. Um, and there are things that have evolved, obviously, to work in tandem with, with one another over the billions and gazillions and gazillions of years that there's been, a you know, an existing universe and existing galaxies, right? So all these things, I appreciate those. So what I don't feel is necessary in my own life is uh, attributing these to a particular being who's um, kind of watching over all of us, this idea that there's a plan that this individual who, you know, most people consider, you know, when people talk about religion, they refer to, you know, they usually refer to some um, gendered entity that is he, right? So I don't, I don't believe in any of that and I don't find any of that necessary. I think that the universe, that life is amazing and brilliant enough to celebrate without thinking that, you know, somebody gave it to me because <laughs> they liked me, right? Just the fact that uh, I'm privileged to live in a world that exists with all of these amazing things and its troubles and trials and tribulations and even the fact that life ends, right? I, th I see that as like, it's a little disappointing, right? But the fact of the matter is, what a gift to be able to live. So I don't need the presence of a God to be able to celebrate, right? I don't need an afterlife. Just knowing that I had a chance to be on this planet and make some kind of a difference to me, that is eternity. Like, and the closest that I could ever hope for in a, an, in a, you know, a living forever would be to live, leave some kind of legacy behind me. And we see that played out with, you know, people who um, have lots of wealth. They sent, they seem to, in the last years of their lives, um, put a tremendous effort into leaving something some kind of a legacy behind. So I'm one of those people who believes that, um, you know, there is no afterlife. We're going to go to sleep forever and, you know, our bodies are going to come become part of all of this stuff, right? We deteriorate and, you know, plants and worms and things like that will eat us and life continues, right? So um, in some ways there is everlasting life, but it doesn't mean like, you know, me, there's not going to be my consciousness like being like, whoo, I'm around forever. Not interested in that. So um, that's really that. Um, I'm going to talk about this some more. I'm out of time for today, but yeah, so I'm, I'm really glad that you, uh, that people ask questions about that. I do want to just quickly before I end today, remind you all that Sunday, I'm going to be picking up with the pedagogy of the oppressed study group. So, um, and there's my timer. All right. So three minutes are up. That's it for this video. Like it. If you like it, share, comment, subscribe. This is Reg signing off. Love yourselves. Peace. And I love myself the way